Oh girl, you've got some stank breath. Like it's not all the way through the computer screen. Oh, hi friends, Lacey Green here with another D-News update for you. We all get stinky breath sometimes. It can be a little embarrassing, but hey, it's a fact of life, y'all. Bad breath, like so many other things in life, comes down to pesky bacteria. I'm pretty sure the bacteria quietly rule the whole world, but that's another story. The two main forms of stink-causing bacteria are plaque, the invisible layer of bacteria that coats your mouth, and also rotting food between your teeth. Sexy, I know. Bad breath bacteria live mostly on your tongue, munching away at the proteins in your mucous membranes and at the proteins in your spit. All that munching and breaking down of proteins produces stinky sulfuric gas as a byproduct. And FYI, the sulfuric gas that's produced by the bacteria in your mouth is the same type that's responsible for that glorious rotten egg smell. Now throughout the day, you're chewing, swallowing, drinking, eating, and there's a lot of spit being produced in your mouth, which helps wash out the bacteria and keep your breath neutral. But at night, at night things get freaky. Your salivary glands shut down, causing your mouth to dry out a bit, and then the bacteria multiply. While you're sleeping soundly, and especially if you sleep with your mouth open, droves of bacteria fester on your dry tongue. Then you wake up in the morning armed with fiery dragon breath, or as my ex-boyfriend liked to call it, kitty breath, which sounds so much cuter. So how can you keep things so fresh and so clean? The real aggravator of bad breath is a dry tongue. That's the environment where bacteria flourishes. So hydrating with lots of water is really helpful, avoiding drinking too much alcohol or caffeine, and not overdoing it on the sodium also helpful. Protein-packed foods and dairy products also generate lots of those amino acids for bacteria to eat. Some contributors to dry mouth aren't necessarily in our control though. Things like a respiratory tract infection, asthma, sleep apnea, or the chronic presence of certain types of bacteria that can give you halitosis, the medical term for bad breath. If you want to know what your breath smells like, take a spoon and scrape the back of your tongue. Take a good whiff of the gunk that comes off and that's how your breath smells. Make sure you do that in front of your crush too so they know how sexy your mouth gunk is. As a quick fix, gum can really help. So long as it's sugarless, it'll help you produce more saliva and wash it down. More water, always a good idea. Some people, they swear by parsley, which does have antibacterial chlorophyll in it, but the research doesn't suggest that this actually works. The main solution is, of course, brushing your friggin' teeth. Twice a day, y'all, scrape your tongue, Blast those food particles out of them so you don't have rotten food chilling in there and see your dentist regularly for cleanings. Thanks for joining me guys and hey, Anthony, Trace and I are live broadcasting this afternoon so you should click the link in the description to come hang out with us. Bye bye.